what's up guys what's up guys welcome to another vlog welcome to another video it's been a while i have to do a sit down video so i'm gonna do a story time hope you guys enjoy the story time before i go into the video if you're new here to my channel i want to say i'm glad to have you here welcome 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 back to my old sub subscribers and also to my new subscribers welcome 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 yes guys so the story is all about uh when you show somebody kindness guys when you're good to somebody they will stick around they will definitely stick around with you they don't want to leave right when you show somebody i must say when you give somebody good treatment rather when you give somebody good treatment they don't want to leave they will stick around so guys let's get into the story time so guys this story took place when i was about 10 or 11 and it's a real story guys okay it is a real story yes so me and my siblings we grew up in the countryside where at those times there weren't any pipes so we have to go to the spring to get water we have to get water at the spring to cook, wash, bathe, etc. Yes, guys. So, one day while we were making a lot of trips, because sometimes we make a lot of trips in order to bring water for our mother to wash. Yes, yeah, so we were, we were carrying like a lot of water, guys, that day. And basically, we would carry a lot of water whenever we go and fetch water. But that day, we were carrying water, right? Everybody tired as usual, but we have to do what we have to do because we don't have any pipe. Anybody go in the countryside and don't have pipe, they will know what the struggles are, or the real struggles of getting water at the spring. Yes, guys. Sometimes, guys, fight even break out at the spring because, you know, sometimes somebody is, is there catching water and then the next person come and they don't want to wait right probably you have like four jugs to be filled and you're you, you already full two of the jugs you already fill two of the jug and the person is like hey you already get two fill i need to fill my bucket right i only have one bucket and then if you don't give that person a chance it could be fight if i g h t if i g h t yes a lot of times that happened at the spring guys but anyways let me not diverse from the story the story time um so guys one day now while we're carrying the water we see a man saw it was in the past we, we saw a man guys and he was coming up the road and he was like hey hey i'm hungry can't you have any food over here you have any food and we were like, who's this man, you know? Walking in the neighborhood, shouting out to us if we have any food. So anyways, our mother was home washing while we were carrying the water. Yeah, guys, so if you're wondering how comes I'm saying four jugs. Yes, guys, it happened. We carry like two jugs in one hand and we grab those two handles of the jug. And then we carry another two jug in the next hand and he grab those two handles of those two jugs. But you gotta be skilled to do that because the jugs will hurt your fingers if you don't know what you're doing. So yeah. So like I was saying now guys, like um the mania yeah, was coming up the hill and he was shouting because we live on a hill too, guys. At the time I was living on a hill. Yes, and he was saying, Hey, you have any food? You can give me some, I'm really hungry. So while we were coming up the hill with the water, the, the man, you know, was coming down the road shouting at us, you have any food over your yard? As in Patwa, guys, I am hungry. Me hungry. Patwa, I am hungry. Sorry about that, guys. I was getting a call. I have to, because I'm doing a video. I have to decline a call until I'm finished. Yes, guys, so he was saying like me hungry so we, we brought it to the attention of her mother she was there washing and 
like mommy how you this man you know we have you have anything can give this man because you know we, we grow like that guys we are kind people yeah so like you have anything can give this man he says he's hungry so my mother was like oh i could fry him like an egg and give him bread with some lemonade so we said okay then and she go ahead she leave the clothes guys and get up go ahead and fix it for that man and the man the man and let me describe the man he wasn't having on any shirt he was a tall man he was a tall black man without shirt and he, he did have on pants though guys and shoes he seems of unsound mind i'm not sure he wasn't behaving too crazy though it could be like a homeless person we don't know but anyways my mother go and prepare the meal for him the egg the bread and lemonade so he eat and we have a aki tree in the yard guys and when the man eat guys the man just lean back on the aki tree like this guys i said oh, my belly full me i chill out right yes so so anyways guys we were had to go and make some other trips with the water so my 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 brother said to him say um you want to come and help us bring water and he said um no problem how far how far and we said not very far so he come he grab a bucket out of the yard and he come and you know him i think he made more two trip with us and he was hanging out after he made the two trip again he go back and he actually lie down and he was there and my mother was washing and you know stuff like that i don't remember if he was there talking or he dropped asleep i don't remember I can't recall I was like 10 or 11 years old I can't recall if you if he did drop asleep but anyways guys um ours was coming down like down in the evening and he was still there hanging out you know hanging out like you know hanging out there and um we said to him that if he's not going home and he said home no sir no sir I write you some me I hang out I write you some me I stay and we was like, no, you can't stay. You can't stay here. We don't have anywhere to put you. You have to go. And he was like, no, sir, no, sir. Mm -mm -mm. Me not left go nowhere. Me say, I'm right. That's how I stay. So my brother was like, no, no, you can't stay. You can't stay. That was that was my bigger brother. And he was like, but I want to stay, man. You're not nice people, man. You're not nice people. Me I tell him, I did hungry. No, I did hungry. I don't fool my belly, man. No give me egg and bread. My belly full. Me not lie, man. My belly full. So <clears throat> we did not want him to stay there because we don't have anywhere to put us anywhere to put a stranger anyway. So <clears throat> my big brother now did have a Thai G U N and <clears throat> like he he get it and he was saying first before he get it, the Thai G U N he was saying to him like. You cannot stay now because my father is a police and if he come home and see you he will s h o t u yeah and he was like eh your father police because he started to get scared now <laughs> eh your father police and and then my brother was like yes my father is a police so don't let him come home and see you it's not you're gonna be in trouble so um he was still hanging out and then my brother don't think plan b in his head now because we don't want him hang out anymore guys because it was getting late and we don't want night to catch him there so my brother was like, oh, we don't know, we plan up this thing together now, like, oh, I have a Thai, a Thai GU and I'm going to get it. And it, guys, it did look so real because it was a black one too. And my brother come out and say, listen now, this is my father tool, right? And if you don't leave, you're going to be in trouble. And he was aiming it at him, guys. And I'm telling you guys, this man take half, guys. Not even using bolt. Don't fast like this man, guys. The man take off with me say take off guys the man get so scared he thought it was a real thing my brother aiming at him and he run as you guys guys i said this man run this man run like you faster than you saying but i'm telling you so this is the end of the story time guys and and the, the, the um the confirmation in this story guys when you be nice to people guys you know people will stick around you when you do good to people they will not want to leave. You give people good treatment, guys. They don't want to leave. They will just stick around you. All right? That is the confirmation in the story time. If you give people harsh treatment, they will just run. You give them good treatment, they will stay around you, guys. All right? So this is the story time, guys. If you like the story, guys, remember to give it a thumbs up. 
leave some comments down below and guys if you did not give me a thumbs up yet please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up i will appreciate it and if you're new here guys please do go ahead and subscribe i will appreciate it thanks for watching guys bye bye until next comment down below if you like the story time guys i could do give it with more energy but i'm really tired right now yes i'm recording in the night now i already finished you know with the kids homework etc 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 so i'm tired right now so it would it is story time it won't tell it to more energy but maybe my next story time i could do better but right now i'm really tired so just go ahead guys and give this video a thumbs up share me out if you can and leave some comments down below bye